let's suppose somebody's watching this and say, I want to be like Mr. Dangote, I want to be a successful businessman in Africa. Uh, what are the attributes, or anywhere, uh, where, what are the attributes that you think you have brought to the table which make you successful? Is it intelligence, hard work, persistence, all of those things? What would you say are the most important attributes? I think the most important one, number one, David, if you are going into any business, you must understand the business A to Z. You must know that business. You shouldn't just go and invest because somebody now will say, okay, hey, you know, there's good money in cement, then you go and jump into cement. You have to understand the business in and out. And that's the difference with me. I know my business in and out. You can wake me up any time and ask me about uh, fertilizer, ask me about anything that we are doing. And the other one is really to work very hard and you have to have the tenacity of continuing to, you know, you have some hiccups here and there, but you have to have, uh, you have to be focused in terms of what you are doing. Now, I've known you for a while, and I never seem to get you to yell or scream, or you seem very low key. Um, you don't use the technique of yelling and screaming at people, or you're just very low key and even keeled. To what do you attribute that, or am I wrong? I think, no, you're not wrong. That's my nature. I'm always, I'm very quiet, and I'm very, very calm. Uh, I get upset sometimes when people try to be, you know, either to outsmart me or uh, I, I don't like people who will not tell me the truth. I always like people to look at me through, you know, and tell me the truth. So were you investing any in the United States? We are going to start uh, investing, uh, you know, in the United States just after this uh, project. We want to open a family office. Uh, both in New York and in London. We already have an office in London which has been operating for the last uh, 30 years. So we want to turn part of that you know, as a family uh, office so that we can diversify the wealth. Uh, as you know, you know, I've discussed this with you before, where you know, sometimes in Africa you have issues of devaluation. You know, uh, you know, so we want to really preserve some of the family's wealth. Right. Now, sometimes wealthy people, they collect art, they collect cars, they collect other things, or what some of your wealth that you're not using for philanthropy, what do you do with it? Do you collect, are you a collector of things or? I'm not uh, really a collector of arts, you know. Um, the, anytime when I have excess money, I like to put more in terms of charity. I don't really have very expensive uh, lifestyle. And the great pleasure of your life is just building your company and then giving away extra money? That's my greatest pleasure in life.